Arizona students, good morning. Welcome to HYFN TV, your home for news, sports, entertainment, and information. I'm Tiffany. And I'm Diego. Let's get the show started, y'all. Today we are going to continue our coverage on Russia and Ukraine, and some may feel a sigh of relief today as Russia has indicated it is willing or will be going to be removing some of their troops as they complete their military exercises. The fear of an invasion has been made clear on the U.S.'s part with President Biden stating that an invasion is imminent and urging its citizens to return home. However, in Russia, it is though war is not even an option. Christopher Miller tweeted a statement from Russian FM Spox, which stated, February 15th, 2022 will go down into history as the day Western war propaganda failed. They have been disgraced and destroyed without a single shot being fired. This comes as Russia contends the US was instigating propaganda to entice a war, but with the mobilization of troops and heavy machinery, it seemed apparent Russia was beginning to prepare for an invasion. Ukraine Foreign Minister Dmitry Kuleba has stated, Russia con constantly makes various statements, and that's why we have the rule, we won't believe when we hear, we'll believe when we see. When we see troops pulling out, it will, we will believe in de-escalation. Also, the specifics of where the troops were going to be removed or pulled back from is still unclear, leaving many um, unsure about the importance of these actions. Other, diplomat, other diplomats and government officials, figures of other countries, are also meeting with Ukraine and Russia to try to conserve diplomacy. Norway and Britain have issued warnings, and German Chancellor Olaf Scholz is meeting with President Putin and a day after meeting with Ukraine's leader, President Zelensky. The Minister of Poland was also in Moscow to meet with Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, and Lavrov met with Putin in a setting which was broadcasted on, national, on television in order to reiterate to the world about the Russian leader's position, and has also reportedly advised Putin to continue the talks with the West, noting he would not allow the U.S. or its allies to stonewall Russia's main request. One of the biggest is that it does not want Ukraine to be allowed to join NATO. This week, Ukraine's ambassador to the UK, Vadim Prostako, brought up the possibility of Ukraine removing their bid for a chance with NATO, however, later backed away from those statements. So we will all keep watching as everything unfolds, and as of this point, it seems as though everyone is still unsure as what is going to happen. So stick with us here at HYFN TV as we bring you the current world news to you.